Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com What's up YouTube? Um, I just sold my Testo kit. The one in the orange box with the refrigeration probes, the temperature clamps, and the 605i uh, air sensors. And um, just wanted to explain why. Not that it really matters, but just wanted to let you guys know why I got rid of the Testo kit. Um, as you know, I've got iConnect. I've got a two circuit kit, which simply means that if I come across a system that has two compressors in it, I could actually check pressures and superheat and subcool and all of that on both compressors at the same time. And um, I've also got the Sporlin Smart Tool. And since having the Testo kit, um, I've found it difficult to find a place to use it. I've used it a couple of times, actually used it on a water source unit that had an old school cooling tower and um, I had the Sporlin on one unit and the Testo kit or one compressor and the Testo kit on the other compressor and um, it worked fine but I actually had to have two phones one for the Testo and one for the Sporlin and um, obviously that's inconvenient at best um, I probably should have just grabbed my iConnect kit to check both compressors, but I was trying to find a place to use um, the Testo. Um, I've used the air probes a couple of times on jobs, and they're great and all, but they don't do any TEAT, targeted exit evaporator temperature calculations. Um, you have to manually input airflow from some other device and um, they're just not as holistic in their system checking as the i-manifold. Now at some point I will probably regret selling the Testo kit because something will come out whether it's an app update or another accessory that's pretty cool um, but at this point I couldn't see hanging on to it and taking up the extra space in my little matchbox van um, just to hopefully someday have more capability in the application or some other accessory and you know since everything on the Testo app as far as the Bluetooth probes can be connected independently I figure if something does come out that's pretty cool um, I could get a hold of that individually and um, utilize that. Um, I had kind of wanted to do a couple more videos with the Testo kit just for educational purposes for guys that had it, um, but it was just difficult to find the niche where that specific tool made sense more than the Sporlin or less than the iConnect and right in the middle just didn't really fit. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what Sporlin's second generation is, um, simply for the fact that the Sporlin is as robust as it is. And um, I figure if down the road um, I feel like I need another wireless kit, I may look at um, whatever the second generation of Sporlin smart tools is. Um, so that's a little bit on why I got rid of the Testo kit. Um, sold it to a guy that doesn't have anything in that ballpark of refrigerant and analysis equipment. And I think it's going to help him do his job a good bit better. Um, when he runs across systems, at least give him more information in an easy to collect 
platform um, with the app being able to see all of the accessories uh, all at once on that basic screen. Um, also going to shoot a video here uh, giving a little bit of uh, opinion on the Redfish IDVM 510. So stay tuned for that. I think that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah.